This is the single fastest way to add titles in Final Cut Pro. I'll show you how to find, add and edit titles in just three steps. Then I'll show you how to save a ton of time by reusing a title. And if you have some third party titles that you want to add to Final Cut Pro, be sure to watch until the end and I'll show you the right way to add them, avoiding that nasty missing title error. But first in Final Cut Pro, let's open up the titles browser. Go up to window, then go on go to, and then select titles and generators right here. You can also press the keyboard shortcut option command one, or you can click on this little icon up here to show the title browser. Final Cut Pro has a ton of built-in titles and they're categorized here on the left. Let's take a look at this build in and out. There are a ton of them in here. You can preview a title by skimming over the thumbnail to see what it looks like. You can also search for a title by clicking up here in the search bar and then start typing the name of the title you're looking for. It will only search in the category you have selected. So to search all of your titles, you would need to click and select titles right here. Let's go down to this social category here and let's practice adding some titles to our timeline down here to our video project. The first and fastest way is to just click and drag your title onto your timeline. I can also select the title I want and then I'll move my playhead where I want to connect the title and I'll go up to edit and I can select connect to primary storyline or I can press this button right here to connect it or even faster, press Q and it adds that title to my timeline. I can also select the title and go up to edit and then select insert or press this button right here to insert it or even faster, move my playhead where I want to insert it and then press W. You'll see it split this clip in two and added my title in between it. I can also go up here to edit and I can append to storyline or click this button right here to add it to the end of my storyline or just select the title and press E and it adds it to the end of my magnetic timeline. I can also overwrite whatever's in my timeline with the title. I'll select my title, go to edit, select overwrite, or I can press this button right here or move my playhead where I want it to overwrite and press D. It overwrites whatever's in the timeline here instead of splitting it and separating it. Final Cut Pro has a default title in lower third and I can add it by going up to edit and then go down to the bottom here where it says connect title and I can select basic title or basic lower third. Or I can move my playhead where I want to connect it and just press the shortcut control T to add it. It's a basic title and in a little bit I'll show you how to change it to something else. If I want to add a lower third, it's control shift T or edit connect title basic lower third. I like this lower third and I want to make that my default lower third. So I'll right click on it and I'll select make default lower third. Now when I use the keyboard shortcut control shift T, it adds that lower third as my default title. And if I want this to be my default title, I'll right click on it and select make default title. Now I can add it by moving my playhead where I want it to start and press control T. And just like that, my default title has been added. I can quickly copy and duplicate titles. So I can select it, press command C, move my playhead and then press command V to paste that title in the new spot. I can also hold down option and then click and drag on a title to duplicate it and move it wherever I want it to go. I can move a title just like any clip in Final Cut Pro. I just click on it and drag it to move it around in the timeline. I can also pull it down into the timeline like so. By default, the title is connected to my clip at the very beginning. You can see the clip connection right here. If I want to change that, I just hold down Option Command and click where I want to change where it's connected on my title. And now you see it's connected here in the middle instead of at the beginning. I can change the duration of my title by clicking and dragging on the beginning or end to shorten it or to make it longer. I can select my title and press Control D to bring up the duration controls here. This is hours, this is minutes, and this is seconds, and this is frames. So right now my title is eight seconds and 20 frames long. I can enter 500 and press enter to change it to five seconds. In the viewer, I can tweak and change my text using on-screen controls. So when I hover over text, you'll see this box here that comes up. That means I can click and drag on that to move the text around. And to change the text, I can do a couple things. I can double click on my title and it will select the text for me. Or I can select my title and then double click on the text up here to change it. I can customize the text even more in the text inspector. If you don't see the inspector open over here on the right hand side, click on this button with these three sliders to open the inspector. And then click on this button right here to show the text inspector. I can change the text here as well. And I can change things like the font, the font size, and if I scroll down here and click on show next to face and then click on this color here, then I can change the color to whatever I want. 
If I click on this square with the T, I'll see some published parameters. These are some things I can change to customize the look of my title. For example, in this one, I can change the layout to left, or I can make it large, and I can even change the color of the gradient. Oh, gross. I am not very good at design. The text inspector is so handy. If this video is handy, will you please give it a thumbs up so other people will see it? I really appreciate it. In a second, I'm gonna show you how to add third-party titles to Final Cut Pro. But first, I wanna show you this cool trick that allows you to save and reuse a title over and over again so you don't have to rebuild it from the ground up. All right, once you've got a title exactly how you want, there's a way to save it and reuse it over and over again so that you don't waste time setting it up. Select your title in the timeline and then press Option G to turn it into a compound clip. Give it a name and then press OK or Enter. Now, if you go to your browser here and look under this section called No Data, you'll see this compound clip right here. It's called Stupid Raisins Title. Let's go to another project. Let's say I want to use that title in this project. So instead of recreating it, all I have to do is add Stupid Raisins Title to my timeline by clicking and dragging it. And bam, I've got my title customized, ready to go. Let's say you have a bunch of titles on your timeline and you want to replace some words all at once. So instead of selecting each one, changing the words, and then going to the next one and changing the words, go up to Edit, and then select Find and Replace Title Text down here at the bottom. Now you can enter the text you want to find. We'll say Title here. And what do we want to replace it with? Let's replace it with Stupid Raisins. And then I can say Search All Titles in the Project or just a selected title. I want to do all three at once. And then I can say it needs to match the case or whole words and a loop search means it goes to the end and then comes back around to the beginning. So I can click next and you'll see it's finding those titles for us and selecting them. So I like that, it looks good. I'm gonna click on replace all and then I'll close that and look at our titles now. They've all been replaced with stupid raisins. Woo, time saver. Go up to the upper right hand corner of your viewer, click on view and then select Show Tate Title and Action Safe Zones under Overlays. This shows you where your titles are safe for broadcast purposes. So if you have titles, you want them to be on the inside of this rectangle here. And then this other rectangle is for action. So anything that's happening on screen, it should be safe in this outer one. And then just to be sure, put your titles on the inner one. And then click on View and uncheck it to turn it off. So how do you add titles to Final Cut Pro that you've maybe downloaded from online or you've bought from a title maker? First, you'll need to unzip your titles that you've downloaded, and then you wanna make sure that they're organized into the right folders. So I have some effects, some titles, and transitions here. And inside are different templates for it. So I'm gonna get another finder window open, and I'm gonna to go to my hard drive here. And I'll go to Users, to My User, and Movies. And in here you should see a folder that says Motion Templates. Let's switch to List. And then in here you'll see folders like effects, titles, and transitions. So all I have to do is drag and drop this folder into my effects folder. I'm gonna hold down option while I do that so it just makes a copy of it instead of moves it. And it does the same with titles. We'll just drag and drop it and transitions. Okay, and I'll go back to Final Cut Pro and you can see that they're already showing up in here. Here are the titles I just added. And if we go over here to effects, we'll see them right here, VHS pop effects and the same for transitions. What do you do if you don't have the right folders? No worries, just create a folder and call it motion templates. And it has to be motion templates exactly. Now I already have one in here, so I can't create it. I'm just gonna put a one there for this example, but it really should just be motion templates. And then press command I to open up the info window. And down here in name and extension, type dot localized. Make sure and spell it all exactly right. And then in this folder, create an effects folder, create a transitions folder, and a titles folder. And make sure they're all spelled exactly right. Let's open those up in the, in the info and we're gonna add dot localized to each one. Now you can add your titles and effects and transitions to these folders and Final Cut Pro will see them. Another way to add titles to Final Cut Pro is to use an installer. So I make a bunch of titles and effects and transitions and I have an installer here I made. So I'll unzip it and then I'll double click on it to launch the installer. I'll click agree and then I'll click install and the installer will take care of everything and put them in the right spot. So now I can quit. And if I go back here to Final Cut Pro, we'll see it popped up here and now I have these titles ready to go and I can add them to my timeline and edit them just like before. And if you wanna get these titles, I'll put a link in the description below. They're worth $138, but you can get them for free. Just click the link in the description. Titles are an essential part of the Final Cut Pro experience. 
The magnetic timeline is another essential part. And just like titles, the magnetic timeline is crucial to Final Cut Pro. However, it confuses people sometimes and can be a little bit hard to understand. I put together a video showing how to use the magnetic timeline and eight special tools to really unlock the power of the magnetic timeline. Click here to check it out.